Today we're going to look at the Sonoff Home Automation Module. And you can see right here, this is what attracted me to it. It's only $5. And it looked like you, you could do a lot of very interesting things with it. And the, the thing to note is it takes uh, AC voltage from 90 volts to 250 volts. So it'll work anywhere in the world. And at $5, how can you go wrong? Here are the two units I ordered. And uh, we can take a look at it. Now one thing that's kind of interesting is uh, these little covers come off and, and uh, they'll be attached in with screws. But this is where you, you wire in the, the line neutral. You can see there's a screw type terminal on this end and a screw type terminal on this end. So uh, anyway, it does require the line neutral to work and it comes with instructions. And this is a little bit different than all the other home automation things I've used is because instead of using the smart home app, it uses a EW eLink app, which is a free app, but it seems to have all the same features as uh, the smart home app. And uh, we will attempt to get this thing all configured and hooked up to Alexa. And uh, I'll stay tuned. Okay, I'm temporarily wiring these things up here just to get them configured and for demonstration. And one of the things I'm noticing here is the, the terminals here are very, very small. I, I noticed you could get a 14 gauge wire in there, but, but I don't think you can get a 12 gauge wire in there. It's too small. And uh, they do come with, with a package of screws. Okay, the end caps, as I screwed them down there, they seem to have clamped the wires a bit, making things a bit more stable. And we can see We've got a green LED flashing right there, and you can see there's a little button. Anyway, I'm going to get on my smartphone, download the app, and do the rest of the configuration. Okay, I powered up the device, and you can see it's got a slow blink here. So you can see it's a very slow blink of the green LED. So I'm going to press the button for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we can see it's in a new mode towards blinking three times and stops, or blinking three times and stops. Blinking three times and stops, okay. And after seven seconds, it'll, uh... okay, now I'm, now it's actually in a fast uh, thing. So the second time I did it, it's in a fast. You can see how it's continuously blinking. Okay, I'm going to click on the Play Store app, and I'm going to search for E W E L. Okay, that came right up there. E W E Link. Let me just install it. Okay, I'm going to have to create a, a log in here. I created an account at the eWe Link app. So now it says there are no devices paired and, t uh, and uh, to, to do add. Click Next. Okay, now I have to give it my Wi-Fi password. Pairing failed. Let's try compatible pairing mode. So now it's doing the fast blinks. Oh, good, it found something. Found a device. Okay, now the LED is back to, to blinking slowly. Registering. Oh, good. I got my device. Now I'm going to give it a new name. And I can say, uh, Okay, good. Lights on. Lights off. 
Lights on. Okay, well, th now everything's working. Okay, now we have the unit successfully configured. Now I'm going to try some new things. You notice that they, they say like share, schedule, timer, loop timer. I'm going to try setting up a schedule because I'd like to have my back lights come on at a certain time then go off at a certain time. So I'll just say new timer and I'll say state on and I'll say repeat Monday. Come on, what's going on here? Okay, I'm going to, okay, there we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, at the hour, so let's see, like it's 17, uh, okay, let's just say 17, uh, 100, and say save. So now I'm going to, another timer, I'm going to click off, and uh, the hour, I'm going to say, uh, uh, 23 oh, oh, oh. and then click on repeat and check repeat every single day so every day it'll it'll go on and then then it'll turn off in the evening we'll click save on that very nice and then you can set up a whole bunch of these things okay now I'm opening up Alexa and I'm going to add a skill, and hopefully we can add the skill, and then everything will be all fixed. Okay, so I'm going to click on the, the hamburger menu up on the top. And uh, skills. We search for E, we, link. Okay, good. It's right in the top, E, we, we link. And I'll just click on that one and click Enable. Okay, now I'm in the Alexa app and I clicked in the bottom right corner to where it has a picture of the home. And I'm looking at my devices, but I don't see my sign off here. So I'm going to click Add, Add Device. And uh, we'll call it a switch. We link. Oh, and discovered a plug. And backlight. You can see it on the top there. And it says it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off. So everything's working perfectly there. All done.